All right, it's an auto. Oh, it's a Hornet. It is, in fact, a Hornet. And, ah. Uh, well. Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, another day in this crazy hobby of ours that we call sports car collecting. Now, the little clip before was a little bit of a dramatization. I've already pulled that card, obviously, but I felt like it kind of sums up everyone's uh, emotions uh, when it comes to pulling uh, either a Vernon Carey card or a Grant Riller card. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today, guys. Before we get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Like the video if you can. Slowly but surely gaining some momentum on the Salute to Hoops channel here. We're at 170 subs. So if you could do that, that would be great. I would greatly appreciate that. Moving on. So we're going to talk about who these guys are. And we actually have LaMelo Ball joining us today for this video because I felt like it was completely necessary. So, look, I mean, first off, look at all these. Look at all these troll cards that uh, I myself and I know that we're all hoping were our LaMelo Ball cards, but they're not. They are Vernon Carey and Grant Riller cards. So, uh, I don't know who those guys are. So, I felt like, you know what, everyone knows these guys based on them not being the lamello La ball uh when they pull them so uh, i figured i'd do a video on who the heck these guys are uh shouldn't be too long of a video a little brief overview on both of them so but jesus christ look at all these anyway so yeah we're gonna talk about who these guys are what they're doing on the team uh are they playing well and um yeah, just kind of a brief overview on them because they're kind of like the the Nico Melli of this year's draft. You know, everyone wanted Zion last year, and it was always a, a depressing moment uh, when you pull the a Nicolo Melli card. So uh, I figured it was kind of be going to be kind of a fun video. So let's just get into it. So Vernon Carey, guys, we'll start out with Vernon, six foot nine center from Duke. They drafted him second, uh, pick second round last year's draft. Uh, up until pretty much uh, a few days ago, actually, uh, we didn't really get to see much of him uh, play. Uh, he got his first start a few days ago, I think the 16th against the Nets, and uh, did pretty well. I mean, uh, I believe he had like 21 points, six rebounds, showed that he actually played in an NBA game. You know, the Hornets have been kind of hindered uh, for quite a while now when it comes to uh, injuries. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot more Vernon Carey than we saw in the beginning of the year. Uh, up until uh, that point, he was only, I think he only had like 33 minutes total for the year. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how he actually plays. Uh, I, I don't think we can judge him based off one game, but we also can't judge him based off of uh, the lack of kind of experience that this draft class got when they didn't have any any real draft combines or summer league or anything like that. So this class is kind of kind of started off staggered, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, I guess if he can keep up what he did on Tuesday and show those signs of that he's, he, that he belongs in the NBA, uh, then the Hornets will probably take a better look at him since their roster is, is kind of almost depleted relying pretty heavily on Miles Bridges now uh, since uh, LaMelo Ball has been injured. So that's who Vernon Carey Jr. is, guys. Next, we're going to talk about a little uh, little Grant Riller action here. So uh, if I can get my cards together. So our other quote-unquote troll card of the year uh, is your man Br Grant Riller. Uh, we, I, I, he was the, the gentleman... Uh, in the clip earlier uh, with the auto and whatnot. So uh, Grant Riller uh, has actually not played a single minute of NBA action uh, as, 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 as of today's video. 
Uh, so he went to, I think he was like a four or five year player at uh, just a small college, a Charleston college or something like that, I believe it was. And uh, was definitely known as being like a shooter and, and a kind of a playmaker type guy with a really quick first step. But we have not seen him at all in, in an NBA game. So there's really not much uh, to say about him when it comes to if he even belongs in the NBA. I did see some highlight. I'd never even seen him play, really. He's in the G League right now uh, with the uh, Greensboro Swarm, which is the obviously the Hornets G League team. Uh, from what I've gathered, he's been having some success down there. Uh, he scored like 24 points the other night, uh, but he has not actually been brought up from the G League at all, which is really odd given their the Hornets' uh, injury status with the, a lot of their uh, players. But... Um, one thing I do know about Grant Riller, he's, he spent like four or five years, like I said earlier in college. So he's kind of an older player. Vernon Carey is born in 2001, making him like 20, I believe 20 years old or maybe even 19. Uh, Grant Riller is 24. So he was 24 years old when he was drafted. Granted that is not like extremely old per se, but by NBA standards, uh, if you're a 24 year old rookie, uh, you're old. I guess, quote unquote. So, uh, if he ever gets in the league, you know, he's going to, I think a lot is going to be expected of him just by a maturity level. Uh, but he's also really not going to have that, I guess, an excuse per se of, of the growth factor because he's already 24 years old. And a lot of players that are 24, 25 are kind of either entering their prime or are, are, are or are already in their prime. So, uh, if he ever gets to the NBA, I think that he's going to have to kind of get his footing quick uh, and develop really quickly to the NBA game. Otherwise, he might not last uh, too long, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think a lot of like older rookies, and I say older with quotes, obviously, but I don't think a lot of older rookies uh, really last too long in the NBA because a lot of teams don't want to, I think a lot of teams don't want to risk the fact that there's not too much growth there. Uh, for the player, and they don't really want to waste a draft pick on on a guy like that. So, uh, granted, for the Hornets, uh, they did draft Riller with like the 58th pick overall. So I don't think that there's too much uh, risk on their part. And I think that at that point, I don't think um, their contract is even really guaranteed. To be honest with you, when it comes to being that low of a draft pick. So, all right, guys, but that kind of concludes the video of uh, who the heck these guys are and uh, what they're doing right now for the team. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys uh, now at least know who uh, your uh, your trolls are uh, when, you, when you think you're picking a LaMelo card and it ends up being one of these guys. So definitely a fun video. Not too long. Didn't want to get too in-depth with the whole, you know, autobiography of these guys or anything just kind of a, a, a short fun video for you so uh don't forget to follow me on instagram boom that's the hoops right there i appreciate you guys watching thank you for the support and i will see you guys next time take it easy